we're fixing to do a tomahawk ribeye steak. Right now, I just got it out. I just got it out the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it get to room temperature, take about 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna season it up and we'll go from there. Angus Premium Choice Tomahawk Ribeye Steak. Beautiful piece of meat. All right, we're fixing to open it up. It's been sitting here about 10 minutes. I'm trying to get the chill off of it because I'm gonna let it get to room temperature, but I'm gonna go on and season it and let it just sit here and get to room temperature. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some fresh black pepper on it. Salt. This is kosher salt. I want a lot on it. Big piece of meat, man. It's going a little over two pounds. garlic powder we're not done with the salt and pepper I'm also just going to add a little table salt just to fill in all the cracks and this is just my preference and the pepper fill in all the cracks <laughs> and we're going to give this another run Peppercorn. Now some people want to trim that fat off. I'm not. That's flavor, man. Leave it there. You don't have to eat it, but let it cook on there. It adds flavor. Just kind of smash it in. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Cracks in. Big piece of meat like this, you can do a lot of seasoning on it. Cause you gotta remember when we cut it. You know, when we cut it, we're gonna cut it like that. So you're only gonna have the seasoning on that end. Just kinda mash it down. Now I'm gonna take it, just that leftover stuff, just kinda roll it. If it falls off, roll it on that. And I'm gonna probably add some more seasoning once we get it on the grill. But we're just gonna let it sit. Get room temperature, and we'll be back. All right, got to get this grill going. Ooh, that's full. That tank's empty. We got this grill hot, man. We uh, I'm gonna sear it, rotate it, 
and then we're going to offset cook it. And I'm kind of going backwards. I'm going to use this side instead of that side. But yeah, it may ignore the grill. I, I need to clean it. It is what it is, but right now it's going to suffice. But what we're going to do, you see how hot that stuff is. Woo, man. So, I'm going to put that right there for about two minutes. Right. Of course it's flaring up, but that's good. Well, all we're doing is searing it. So all we're going to do is turn it that way. Turn the eye down a little bit. All right, we're going to give it two more minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. Just getting to find out. Calm it down a little bit. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Woo, I don't want to burn my camera. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's do this side. Two minutes. Now you can, you can do two to five, whatever, this grill's kind of, it's really hot, so it was uh, off the chart, so that's why I'm only doing two minutes, but you get the grill good and, you know, four or five hundred degrees, get a good, to get a good char, then you want to back it down to about 200, 250, but that's what I'm going to do is char it, and then I'm going to offset it, and just cook it low. For, I don't know, 250 ish, somewhere around there. The temperature for, I don't know, until it gets up to about, we're looking for about 120 to 125, and then let it rest a little bit. Because you don't want all them juices escaping right away when you cut it. So I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. So we're, I'm going to pull it about 125 ish between 120 and 125 two more minutes now what we're gonna do turn this up of course i'm cooking on a hobby it don't matter what side let's check this oh i'm looking on marks man i don't know if you can see them you might not can see them it's dark out here but hey we're showing you now we'll sit it over here just let it cook for a little while We'll be back. Oh man, that's looking good. It's getting there. We're fixing to baste it with a little butter. Let that cook a minute and then we'll be back. All right, we're going to flip it and baste it with some more butter. And we'll be back. It won't be long. We're getting there. Look at the marks. Looking good. I did add some more butter on it and flipped it again off camera. All right. All right, we're done. I wanted it more towards 125, but we got a little more done, but that's good for my wife. So we're about, it looks like it's going about 135. All right, we're done. We're going to pull it. We got to let it rest. You see, we done nibbled off of it. <laughs> but I'm fixing to put it over here and cut it up. Let's cut the board. We're going to cut this bone off and do some slices. It's pretty steak.
All right, cool. And cut that strip off. Oh, man. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, what we're going to do is cut some slices. Cut that off. It's a good eight. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. Look at the juice of it. Mmm. <laughs> Mouth water. We're going to give it a shot. Mmm. Oh, my camera lens is good. Mmm. That is so good. All right, some good stuff. That's restaurant quality. There you go. A tomahawk ribeye steak. I'm doing rice and probably a little broccoli or we're going to have a salad and stuff with it. But there's the main course. I wanted to share that with y'all. Actually, my first time cooking one, but I've, you know, I used pretty much what I do on other stuff. They're like any other steak. Just follow your recipe. It did come out great. Look at that. Look at that color, man. The bark. Mm, that bone's gonna be good. All that meat on there. Woo! But hey, thank y'all for watching. We can put a plate together. We can sit down and eat. And we'll be back at you. And then, as usual, Abby said, What's up? What's up? <laughs>